All right. Happy Monday, February 6th. So we're going to go through the hot sheet as always. So we're into February, um, January busier than we thought. Um, this weekend's been busy. Lots of calls, activity, things stirring up. So I predicted more would happen in February. We surprised by January. We're not to President's Day yet. Two weeks away. That's going to kind of kick off things. But let's see what's going on right now. And then we'll relate it back to what we saw last week. So here we go. Hope everybody's doing well. It has been cold again down at the beach. New listings. See on the drop down. New listings this week. 47. We're still going strong there. 47 new listings. That is right on. I think it was 42 last week. Again, we were in the mid 30s most of the fall. So again, a little surprise this early, but here are the 47. Let's see pending. Here's the biggest change. 47 new listings, 49 under contract. If you remember early fall, when we were having that initial rush, we were seeing new properties come out, but we're, it was equal. 30 new contracts, 30 pending. Okay, it was trading out. Yes, the inventory is piling up, but we were writing contracts to kind of work through that. So 49 contracts this past weekend over the last uh, 72 hours is a really good indication. It's a really good indication that we're not just sitting there. It's a really good indication that buyers are there. It's a really good indication because it's a little bit earlier than anticipated. Okay. Uh, closing 17. So again, these end of the February, first of March closings are going to be high because of all the pendings we're seeing right now. Um, what we're seeing with close 17 is a December that was a little lighter than anticipated. Price changes, 43, still up there. Listen, when we were kind of in consistency in the fall, the new listings, the pendings, and the price changes were all pretty par. Price changes were spiking above them for October, November, into December, for sure. Now we're kind of leveling out. We got 47 new, got 49 pending, and we got 43 price change. I see six coming soon listings here. So, I mean, the inventory is going to keep coming. Look, I've got three of them personally that I haven't even brought to market yet. I'm kind of waiting for around President's Day. And these are broad generalities, okay? I've got some neighborhoods that don't have a listing that when we bring it out, it's going to be big news. Did one this week, a condo, Sanctuary Redfish, a lot of comments, nothing else for sale in there. Boom. So, yes, there's a lot of inventory. Some neighborhoods seeing, wow, I wish this would slow down because we got to sell through it. Some neighborhoods are still begging for it. So, Really depends on what you're looking for, but these are just general to let you know. Main story I can tell you out of this before we show you a couple of closings is that it is active. It is not on fire. It is not going crazy. I'm not going to sell you, just brag about how busy we are. We are steady. The phone is ringing. We have buyers interested. We are negotiating contracts. It's normal. Like we're, we're working. And I can tell you what holds true. Nobody is taking anything less than somebody did last year, okay? Kind of goes back to what I talked to you about on the market report. If you haven't seen that, go back and take a look. But I mean, our sellers are still getting more than the sellers did last year, okay? And buyers are known they have to pay a little bit more, but they're not going to pay crazy. So if you're pricing a property, get it in line and there are buyers out there for you, okay? Let's take a look at these closings, 17. Interestingly enough, the highest sale this week was this 2.7 in Silver Beach Towers. This is a big penthouse there. There's just a few. I think there's two, actually. 3,100 square feet, five bedroom, five bath, 2.7 million condo down in Destin. 2.7 million for a condo down in Destin right now, that's a big number. Mainly because there's not a lot of, interestingly enough, in Destin, there's only a few complexes that kind of bring that kind of floor plan that would be suitable for that kind of price point. Okay, St. Thomas is one, some of those penthouses, things like that. But you look at this picture, see that kind of floor to ceiling glass. Now this one's a little bit of an a dated um, interior on this one, but that view is pretty, pretty amazing. Look at that. 17th floor is going to be as big a view as you. The reason I like Silver Beach as well, there's some red for you. The reason I love Silver Beach, it's like there's a red light right there and you can pull into it and go either way. That's not the case with all the entrances along that stretch, but also the Destin Airport is like five feet away. So you're going to see some, you're going to see some fly right over you. What is this on Gulf Shore? Is that um, Waterview? Love this place. 1.6 million. Sarah sold that one. Good job, Sarah. So the reason I like these is that you get a view. Let me see if I can show you. View out on the pass. See, that's the pass right there. They've got that little green space. And then out back are boat slips. Look at that view. So you don't get the beach, but you get to lay out out there on the grass if you want to. There's a pool. And watching those boats come in on the pass is pretty fantastic. You can go around here. There is some public beach, okay, around the corner. 
But man, that view is pretty amazing. So for 1.6 million to have access with views, this is the marina side. You can see out this side and then the J side. So all of them have that. Really like this building, low density. You boaters are taking a look at it for something else there. So, all right, Casey, what's the summary? Summary is we are active. Um, I've been negotiating on things this weekend. Inventory continues to stay steady more than I anticipated, but now we're going under contract uh, more than I anticipated. So I'm expecting the same thing through March. Um, we're talking to a lot of people. Again, I don't, I could be wrong. I don't think this is going to come on and we're going to see like, we're just doing a sell through like 50 new listings and then 80 pendings. Like it's not that it's just steady, right? It's normal. Like, I like it. Okay. But if you're a seller and you're willing to price according to market, it's a good time right now. And buyers, we're negotiating a little bit more than we had been. But I want to give you this word of advice. There's not anybody throwing any huge discounts out there, right? But we can look at the market and, and determine what that is. It's not as much guesswork as it was in 2021. So things are great. Um, sun's finally out. It's like 75 degrees today. Um, so as always, if we can do anything for you, let us know and um, look forward to talking to you soon.